Thank you, the doctor, friend of the other debate, and my fellow friends. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. We hold the opinion that uh, the Hong Kong government should not make national education a mandatory subject uh, in local schools. Uh, here we describe the following micro and macro level. From the micro level, first of all, we believe that Hong Kong didn't have enough and effective resources to support making national education a mandatory subject. Um, the in inadequate preparation can be proved by two points. Uh, one is the lack of training courses for teachers. The other is the biased content of the only one reference book entitled uh, The China Model. Last but not the least, I have to mention the irrational populist movement. In this pregnant mainlander issue, many acts of Hong Kong people are irrational hostility. A group of Hong Kong residents have placed an uh, advertisement in a popular paper calling people from Hong Kong locusts. Those Hong Kong residents call all the mainlander as locusts. It's a kind of stigmatization. I can show one of the posters to you. It's really hurt of the heart of all the Chinese people. A song named Huang Chong Tian Xiang has a sentence uh, like Huang Chong Da Du Xiang Yi Xing. Don't you think that it's an irrational hostility? Current circumstances, but historical ones as well. So, for example, uh, there was a survey done at the local Communist Party level in Shanghai in 2011. And they were trying to measure the wealth gap between the top 10% of Shanghai and the bottom 10%. And it's 6.4 times. That's how much more they make than the bottom 10% of the top 10%. And you have to think that's just the number that the Communist Party released. You gotta wonder what the real level of inequality is that they won't even publicly put out if, if the figure that's been released is that bad. So and what's more, I have some questions to ask you. Well, if you are a student and your and your grades always be the top ten of the class, and you are and and your grades for every test point is quite balanced. However, there is another student that um, that uh, he uh, he uh, he is always the top three of the class. However, his uh, talents may not that balanced that. Um, is particularly good at math or other data points are not so bad. So, um, which one do you think is the better? Well, thank you. That's a very good point, but you didn't answer the question that I asked. <laughs> See if you will provide the uh, free flow of information. If, if not, Shanghai uh, FT would not achieve any results. Okay. Also, the evaluation system of this mandatory course, if you know that, uh, the score of this course will follow you in your file with the students. So it's very traditional, uh, you can call it a mainland style. It's not suitable for Hong Kong students who live up in a very Western uh, education environment. So it's a lot of pressure for them if you set this as a mandatory subject. Yeah. But as the decision is uh, have not been decided finally by the government, so we think that the content uh, can be um, can be negotiated. Um, One last word. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you that um, it's <laughs> not. <nothing. laughs> I agree with you that that the, the um, national education should not be that uh, mandatory. So, but what I cannot agree with you that. Just because the differences between Hong Kong and China, so Hong Kong cannot learn that. Yeah. Just as the old Chinese say. Listen to both sides, you will be enlightened. Hit only one side, you will be benighted. So, can you imagine market economy pie chopped by self self enclosed uh, self enclosed sludge? And can you imagine spirit of the lion rock destroyed by reasonless movements? And can you imagine there are still so many discriminations in this free harbor, even if we are all Chinese? No. No one wants to see such things happen. For Hong Kong's future, the government should not stop permitting mainland mothers give birth in Hong Kong. That's all I want to say. Thank you.